Hi, Robbie. Hi, Gretchen. Uh, earlier today, uh, Vice President Lenny Dobredo uh, conducted a people's rally in the Cotabato State University where thousands of supporters enjoyed heat of the sun just to get a glimpse of the presidential bed. She also met with several local officials. And right now, she's in, she's in Isabella Batidan for a grand rally. Back in 2016, Dobredo won by a landslide here in Barb. But traveling into the rural parts of into the rural rural parts, it was noticeable that almost all of the campaign materials were in support of the unity. But when it came to the urban parts of the region, there were more campaign materials for the vice president. Nonetheless, Dobredo promised that Mindanao will be a priority under her administration, saying that she will prioritize the peace and order situation in the entire region. Let's listen to what Dobredo had to say. Ako po naging Pangulo kung ano yung sinimulan kong pagpapakita ng pagmamahal at pag-aasikaso sa inyo. Sisiguraduhin po natin na pinapakinggan kayo. Walang naiiwan, lahat natutulungan, lalo na sa kinabuhayan. Robbie Lobredo also maintained that the insurgency cannot be resolved with purely a military solution. Adding that it can only be eradicated if the core issues are addressed. Jacob, who's the latest to give their support for VP Lenny? Uh, Gretchen, several officials made their endorsement for Dobredo during her visit in Mindanao. Dobredo was endorsed by incumbent Basilan, Basilan Congressman Mujib, uh, Mujib Hataman. He believes in what he describes on Dobre, uh, Dobredo's on the ground and transparent government. Akma PFT party list uh, first nominee, Datu Abbas Kida, likewise endorsed Dobredo and agreed that given the bloody history of the, of the Moro people under martial law, the presidential race in Barm will most likely come down to either Dobredo or Manila Mayor Isko Moreno. Gretchen, according to the Bangsamoro Inter Interior Minister Nagib uh, Sinarimbo, uh, the Barm government has a timetable a timetable on when they will endorse a candidate but that will depend on when other candidates can visit the region so they can have an equal uh, chance to present their platforms so far only moreno and dobredo has uh, met with bar with a uh, bar uh, leaders of the uh, with the leaders of the barm government uh, the vice president will fin will finish her mindanao leg this week after visiting basilan zamboanga del norte and zamboanga del sur Jacob, let's zoom out a bit uh, from where you are on, and focus on the actual campaign of, uh, of Lenny Robredo. Even though we're just less than two months away from the elections, are there still talks? Are there still chances of unity? Is uni talk, unity talks still something on the agenda of the vice president? Robbie, uh, yes, that's right. VP Robredo is still open to unification among other parties. Uh, Senator Ping Lacton recently claimed that a mediator from the Dobredo camp uh, negotiated with him regarding a possible unification against Marcos Jr. But according to, uh, to Attorney Barry Gutierrez, the Dobredo camp has not officially sent any mediators to other candidates. Attorney Gutierrez, however, did not deny that there are other groups and individuals that have been working on some form of unification. Robbie, along with this, Attorney Gutierrez said that Dobredo has always maintained an open door to unification for these uh, uh, has maintained an open door for these conversations for unification. Robbie, Gretchen. Thank you for those updates. Uh, Jacob, that was uh, mobile journalist Jacob Lazaro reporting live from Cotabato City.